everybody, it's Chris Bog over here at Lift Strength and Conditioning. Today we're going to be talking about the trap bar deadlift. So two versions, our normal trap bar has a high bar and a low bar. Okay, so you can use either one of those. Typically the people with some better mobility, sometimes a little bit shorter people, we can go from that low bar. Sometimes you get the really big tall guys, we want to move up to that high bar or even slightly elevated for this. Really love this tool also for teaching the deadlift. So for new people that are not quite ready for that conventional bar deadlift, this is a great place to start to learn that hip hinging pattern, okay? So when you get set up, we're gonna step inside this guy, we're gonna be in a pulling stance. So we're about hip width apart with the feet. We can toe out just a little bit, five to 10 degrees. From here, we're gonna be taking the hips and we're gonna be breaking back in those hips with a really flat back right here. Okay, we want that shin mostly vertical and we want great contact with the feet. We're thinking a lot of weight in the heels, a lot of weight in the balls of the foot, kind of grabbing the ground with your toes a bit. We grab our bar, our head is down, our spine is in a neutral position, and we're gonna do two things before we lift this up. We're gonna take, and we're gonna pull the slack out of the bar, and I'll show you what that is in a sec, and we're gonna drive our shoulder blades into our back pockets. So that means down. So I don't wanna pinch them together, and I don't wanna elevate them, I just wanna slide them down. So we're getting some lat engagement, that compresses our spine and gets us in a nice safe spot. So I'm gonna come down here, I'm gonna pull my tension out of the bar, which is that little click right there. So there's a little space in those weights and we wanna take that out before we lift. And I do that by pushing my feet into the floor. So I'm gonna push my feet, I'm gonna push my shoulder blades into my back pocket and I'm gonna drive my hips forward. So I finish with my glutes tucked under, my ribs are down and I'm nice and straight in my alignment. I'm gonna put it down the same way I picked it up. So my hips go back. Same position, drive my hips forward. Hips back, drive my hips forward. Typically we're programming this anywhere from singles. For someone who's really experienced heavy singles, we can go threes, five, six, up to eight to 10 reps on this. Uh, go ahead and give it a shot. Thanks for checking us out.